السلام عليكم عليكم السلام شيخ روحي how are you كيف حالك my friend everything is fine how are you I'm all right thank you Lord for everything so شيخ روحي you heard what we are talking about the tree story who was who was in the tree thank you my friend God said God said in the in the Holy Quran, "أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فلما أتاها نودي من شاطئ الوادي الأيمن في البقعة المباركة من الشجرة أي موسى إني أنا الله رب العالمين." So translation, but when he came to to it. He was called from the the right side of the valley and the in a placed spot from the tree. O oh Moses, indeed I am Allah, Lord of the worlds. Hmm. Uh, it was supposed modern technology help you to understand how Moses heard voices from the tree. Hmm. Now, if the if uh, the phone rang and you are you ask who are you? The speaker said, I am your father or I am your friend. Does mm. this mean that the speaker inside the, te the telephone? Mm. Or is that uh, mean you have is the true voice of your father? Also, this was, mm -hmm. no, this was uh, uh, a sign or a prophecy that one day the solid body will speak such as we see uh, in the phone and the mobile and the recorder and we will hear from the wood and the plastic and iron uh, voices like people's voice mm. this not a uh, voice of God mm -hmm. uh, this not voice of God that Moses heard from the tree he did not hear the this voice of the, God he heard the voice of whom this voice uh, was created by God uh -huh. uh, to understand oh okay but look the voice saying i am your lord allah so the voice saying i am allah but this is not the voice of allah no no now when uh, telephone rang and uh, uh -huh. you see who the speaker who got i am your father is, it, is this your father in the, in the phone yes no it is uh, if my voice, father is calling me created. this is my father calling me so the one is talking is my father. So you are saying to me that Allah became the phone now. So the voice is coming from the phone is the phone voice. And Allah, he made the phone talk saying, I am Allah. Are you saying that Allah, he made the tree talk saying, I am Allah? Yes, uh, God spoke to human in language because human can only understand by this way. But okay, this so, is not the words of God. Okay, hold because on. Because God so, is so you are saying like to a me human now, in his words. Sheikh Rahi, you are saying to me that your God, he did not really speak to Moses. It was a tree. No, uh, it is not voice of God. It is not. Uh, it doesn't matter. That's, it. That's, that's me and the one who spoke to Moses, according to you, Muslims. It was the tree, not Allah. Allah, He made the tree no, no. speak in the language of Moses. This is what you said to me a second ago. You said Allah, yes, He made. Yes. Okay. So the one who spoke to Moses was the tree, not Allah, correct? This voice created by God. But it doesn't matter. God's okay, voice. Allah, He hit the tree by maybe He make the tree like a drum. He make boom, 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 and the tree spoke. Now, that's mean the one who spoke to Moses is the tree, not Allah. That's what yes. you're saying. Okay, but yes. uh, as long as you agree, then that's mean the whole story in the Quran is fabrication because how the tree says, "Oh, I am Allah," but the one is talking is not the voice of Allah. God must uh, create voice because the man and Moses and me and you not uh, understand Ill, uh, unless by voice mm -hmm. we understand by this okay, word let me ask you by, by this so way when Allah he spoke in Arabic 
they, he spoke the Quran in Arabic or he made a, a, a phone speak in Arabic or a tree speak in Arabic who is the one who gave the Quran in Arabic is it Allah speaking in Arabic or the voice was a voice of somebody else too Uh, God not to speak in the uh, Quran in Arabic by voice you hear it. this is a message no, by no, no, Jibreel, no, no, no. Okay, by Jibreel. okay Jibreel 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 he got the message from where from God okay how Allah gave from, him the message but we don't know what do you mean you don't we know? don't know how we don't know now how add uh, till Jibril this message? Okay, hold on. So you uh, say you say you don't know say, how Jibril gave. Hadith not say. Hold on. You say Jibril. You do not know about how Jibril got the message, but you know for sure that the one who spoke there in the tree is not Allah. How you know that? If the tree, like who told you that? Did Allah says to you, "I created a voice, and this is not my voice, and this is the tree I made it speak." I mean, where do you get this from? So look what you do. You fabricate your own meaning because that proved that Islam believing in the incarnation of God in order to, to get away from the incarnation, but nowhere in the verse it says what you said. Can you show me a hadith where Allah is or what your prophet said that Allah he created a voice in the tree? Or this is uh, the fantasy of Dr. Rohi. No, no, scholars said God has no ear as my friend, our ears. My friend, what do you mean God has no eyes? No, eyes, eyes, like hold on, hold eyes. On. no a God has, has ears. Here we go. If we go in the hadith, your God, he says, that he come down every third part of the night and he asks, who is, uh, who is uh, uh, supplicating to me so I can listen to him? What are you talking about? Do Allah hear you? Isn't it one of the names of Allah is as Sami'ul Alim? What does Sami'a mean? Uh, God, uh, this is knowledge of God. No, no, what does Samia? No, 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 is... as Samia or Alim, not knowledge of Allah. What does Samia mean? As Samia, that he hearing every uh, everything. Okay, so he we, hearing. So he hear. So don't tell me, don't tell me he don't hear. You know, he hear and he have earring. And here, by the way, he have ears. Look at this hadith here. When Allah he come every day in the in the third part of the night. He come and he says, hey, Muslims, who supplicate to me? So I may answer him, do Allah hear if he was in the tree or he need to come down to Musa's or he was in heaven still he can hear Musa's. Where is the location Allah he can hear Musa's if, if Musa's spoke? Uh, uh. This metaphor to understand how God uh, know everything. And not God, uh, he come down and uh, God, he everywhere, every place God is exist. That's not true. Muslim so God, that. I never heard of a Muslim believe that uh, Allah is exist everywhere. What kind of a sheikh you are? And secondly, when you say to me, this is a metaphor, where do you get this from? Did your prophet say this is a metaphor? Did he say this is a parable? Our Lord, the blessed and the exalted descended every night at, to the lowest heaven. When one of the third later part of so he, he tell us what what part of the night he told us a location which is the lowest heaven and nowhere here it says that this is a metaphorical. So where do you get this from? Uh, because the people don't understand uh, unless in this way. Prophet what do you mean? Muhammad hold on, hold on, hold on. Want to if you pray, if you pray, what, what is the point of this? If you pray to Allah and Allah he listen to you, why Muhammad saying that Allah come down in the third part of the night? What is the point of coming down? If he can hear you anywhere he is, you, you just told me Allah is everywhere, which is not what the Muslim believe. So if you can be heard everywhere, whatever Allah is, he can hear you. So why Muhammad saying he is coming to the lowest heaven? So are you saying your prophet he was he was fabricating things not true? That Allah never come down to the lowest heaven. This is a fabrication. No, God forbid. This is the uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam want to tell us this. Uh, there is a time, a blessing time. Hmm. In this uh, time, there is uh, your uh, spirit, your soul, 
ويل بي يعني ان بيور ان بيور كيس this uh, this in this time when god uh, in the last night the the spirit our spirit our soil uh, will be in the pure nice so we can yani uh, ندعو uh, in this time my friend so what god, the point uh, what the point of the location that hear us i understand but your prophet he says our god he descend So you see your prophet, he can say, and there's no need to say he descend. He can say, pray at whatever time and Allah will hear you. But look what he's saying. He is giving us a time where Allah come down and he is giving us a location where he come down. So when you say it's a metaphorical, that is not true. Do you have a proof that this is metaphorical? No. It's your own, uh, you know. explanation because this is a problem because Allah obviously is taking incarnation by the way the Rahi isn't it Allah a physical being he is right uh, God said what God said in the Quran this is not the question uh, I'm asking you a similar question is Allah a physical being either you say yes or you say no and then, yes, you, yes. Can, and then you can tell me the rest uh, repeat uh, please is Allah is a physical being No, 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 he is not. A you Muslim. are the first Muslim ever. You, you claim to be Sunni, right? Aren't you Sunni? Yes. Okay. I never heard of a yes, Sunni sure. who is a sheikh from Al-Azhar University. You don't believe that Allah is a physical being. <coughs> Since when? Isn't it Allah? He no, said well, that? Okay. When Allah in the Quran, he says he have hands. Are these, those are real hands or they are metaphorical hands? Not real hands. Not real not hands. hands. That means you are not a Muslim Sunni. Yes. You are not a Muslim Sunni. The yes. Muslim Sunni, they believe Allah have a hand. No, no, I am. All Muslim Sunni believe in that. No. Allah have a shin. Allah have a foot. No, when uh, Allah is have a shin and have a foot. W when? Well, isn't it Allah in the Quran? He says, وَيَكْشِفُ ansaq. He is going to show his shin. No. What do you mean, no? What? Sheikh okay. Rohi. What mean? Uh, yes. This is the verse in the front of you. And Allah, He is going to show His shin. And your God, Muhammad, I, uh, your God Muhammad, He said about His Prophet Allah that Allah will come in the last day. And He, they said to Him, Are we going to see Him? He said, Yes. They said, uh, uh, Muhammad, He says, Are you going to be bothered to see the sun in a clear day? They said no. He said, "Are you going to be bothered to see the sun, the, the moon in a in a clear day?" They said no. He said, "And this is exactly how you see Allah." And then they said, "How we will recognize Allah?" He said, "From his shin, Allah will show his shin." So they are talking about seeing Allah. What they will see from Allah? They will see his shin. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, God said in the Quran, "Yawma yukshaf an saq, yawma yukshaf an saq, wa yadawna ila sujud fi la yastabiyun." Okay. Translation: uh, On the day when there shall be uh, a severe affliction, and they shall be called upon to make uh, be, uh, what affliction? What, what, be, is the, what, be, what, what is the where is the shin? What happened to the shin? The shin is gone. This is a translation of this. Uh, this, this, is this is a translation, translation of shekel. This is a translation. Is a potato. You are you speak Arabic. You do not need this translation. What is the word shin? You are reading for me translation of shekel. Okay, I'm asking you, why shekel? He took the word shin. Do do we have the word shin there, or I'm, I'm making it up? So there is a word there. It says oh. it says shin. Why in the translation of shekel there is no shin? What happened to the shin? He ate it. Oh, كشف الساق كشف الساق. You uh, you said that you Arabic man. كشف الساق Arabic Edom uh, implies uh, be befalling of affliction. Mm. Abdullah ibn Abbas uh, given this mm. me same meaning of this and said okay. uh, and uh, suppose uh, and supported it by evidence from Arabic poetry. Let us support from Arabic. My friend, here we go. قال أخذ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بعضلة ساقي أو ساقه. What the word ساق here? 
shin. And let us go to the to the hadith we're speaking about the shin of Allah, shall we? Because Muhammad he spoke about Allah, and he said that this is a real shin. It's a leg, and because this is how they will recognize him. Because the whole hadith is speaking about seeing Allah, seeing Him, literally. Here we go. We go here. <clears throat> Let us see this hadith here. Um, okay. Do you see this hadith, uh, uh, Sheikh Rohi, in the in the screen? On the day oh, when the shank. Sure would be uncovered do you see it i am not in uh, youtube now hadith number sahih muslim hadith number 2940 if we go up yes. the whole hadith here the whole topic is about what is about seeing allah you will see allah let us see different hadith if this one is not enough for you Sahih al-Bukhari, there is many hadith. Let us take one of them. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Some people said, Oh Allah Messenger, shall we see Allah our Lord? In the day of resurrection, he said, Do you uh, crowd and squeeze each other to looking at the sun, blah, 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 blah. So it's easy to see Allah. And the whole question about what seeing Allah, not seeing something Allah will do, Seeing Allah, there's a huge difference between something Allah will do and seeing Allah. Do you agree? Sheikh no. Rami. Uh, what do you mean no? What yes. do you mean no? Look, look, look what the hadith says. Are we going to see our Lord? Correct? So what we will see, yes. we will see our Lord, not something the Lord will do. We will see our Lord. So if the Lord will do something, this is not what they are asking for. They are asking, are we going to see our Lord? Do you agree? No. What no. do you mean no? He, uh, the not, see, not see our Lord. No, it says because, that. It uh, says that. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Here we go. I will give it to you in Arabic. I will give you the link. Don't tell me not see our Lord. It says that. Everybody who is listening to the screen, you know, watching the screen, he can see that this is what it says, even in your Islamic fast translation. Are we going, shall Let we see our door. Lord? Shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? So they will see the Lord, not something the Lord will do. They will see the Lord. And then when he said to them, Allah will come to you in shape different from the shape that one you know. And then they said to them, how we recognize him? He says from his shin, recognize him, seeing him, not seeing something he will do. So if somebody, you know, says, are we going to see Christian Prince? And then you say to me, oh, Christian Prince, he is going to uh, play drum. So you will hear his music. This is not a Christian Prince because I'm not the music. But the question was, are we going to see our Lord? Yes, uh, it is a wrong translation. Ah, a wrong, tra translation. wrong translation. Sheikh Rohi, well, who needs a translation? Here we go. The hadith in the front of you in Arabic, you translate for us. I'm listening. Go ahead. Yes, the hadith said, Hadith said, "Yatihim baadu malaikatullah al-qabr." No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Ya Sheikh, doesn't say that. Read with me. And Abu Huraira, "Qal, qal anasun ya Rasulullah, hal nara Rabbuna yom al-qiyamah?" Qal, 
هل تضارون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله so what are you talking about this wrong hadith it's in, it's in the front of you it says يا رسول الله هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة not the angels will come what are you talking about Read it, read it again, read it. Uh, said yes. Yes, yes, so I am right, okay. I'm right. Okay, yes, yes, okay. Hadith يقول هل تضرون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله هل تضرون في القمر البدر Yeah, but this, did he say, did he say, why, why you skip the part where it says هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة I want you to translate that part, please. Why you skip that part? Okay. أوكي. أه عن أبي هريرة قال أناس يا رسول الله هل نرى ربنا يوم القيامة فقال هل تضرون في الشمس ليس دونها سحاب قالوا أه لا يا رسول الله قال هل تضرون في القمر ليلة البدر ليس دونه سحاب قالوا لا يا رسول الله قال فإنكم ترونه يوم القيامة كذلك إذا so نحن نرى الله عن بعد عن Guys, translate. Look, look, look okay. how Sheikh Rohi now, he, start, he, he will change his statement. One billion degree. A second ago, he was saying, no, we will not see Allah. A second ago, he was saying, there is no word it says that. And now I just made him read it saying, you will see Allah. And yes, you will see him with your own eyes. Go ahead, translate. Okay, translate. Sawani. Uh, what? Translate. <coughs> I want to seven seven. Uh, shall uh, we see our Lord on the day of resurrection? He said, "Do you crowd and uh, squeeze each other on the looking at the sun when it is uh, hidden by clouds?" Then. Replied, he's uh, then uh, they replied. He said, "Do you know Allah's messenger crowd and uh, squeeze each other on uh, looking at the moon when it's full and not hidden by clouds?" They replied. Uh, he said, uh, "So uh, no Allah's messenger see him, your Lord, on the day of resurrection." Similarly, Allah will. Gather all the people and say, "Whoever used to worship anything should uh, follow that thing." Wonderful. So now uh, Allah will be seen. Literally, Allah will be seen. So what they will see of Allah? I'm going to give you option. They will see his shin. They will see him, all of him. They will see his hands. What they will see? It is uh, a loose saying of this hadith for scholars. Uh, some or a lot of them said uh, we not see our Lord uh, Some of them said that God uh, he will appear in uh, a shape that we uh, see him hmm. But this is not real God, but he will uh, Go to us in a shape that we uh, See to, to him Okay, so you are saying to me that Allah will come to you Muslims as a fake shin, fake God. So this is not the real Allah, this is a fake Allah. Are you saying that? Not fake Allah. So you, but you just said to me, you just said to me, you just said to me, but this is not Allah. I mean, everybody heard you, uh, Sheikh Rohi. You are the one who said, he will come to us, but this is not the real Allah. Didn't you say that? So this is what, the fake Allah. He will come to them, the fake Allah, and he will say, I am Allah. <laughs> Have you ever heard of madness like Why this before? I... What, do you, what are you talking about? You just said Allah will come to them, but not is him. Who will come to them? Who is the one who will come to them and he will say, I am Allah? Why I said that? Because mm. God said in the Holy Quran, La tudrikul absar wa huwa yudrikul absar wa huwa latiful khabir. Then, la yumkin not the our our sight our eyes can surround the God. Uh, it is the first. 
كلير فيرس ان ذا قران لا تدرك الابصار وهو يدرك الابصار ناو ترانسليش ترانسليشن ذس ايه ثواني يا بت بت ذس از مين يور بروفيت از لاين اند يو ار نوت انسرين مي يو نو فورجيت اباوت ذات فيرس نو بودي كان سي الله اوكي وي جات ذات بت يور بروفيت هير سين ذس از ان ذا دي اوف ريزركشن نوت ناو سو ان ذا دي اوف ريزركشن يو ويل سي الله اند اي اسك يو The one who will come and they will see him is that the real Allah? You said no. So now we have two Allah. One is real, one is fake. One is Santa Claus, and one real Allah. Who is the one? This is my question, Doctor Rohi. You said that they will see Allah, but nobody can see the real Allah. You said, and you are the one who used the word shape. So Allah will show a shape, but this is not Him. That's what you said to me, correct? Yes. Okay. So uh, that's mean, God, that that's well, mean we have to Allah now. We have Allah the shape and we have the real Allah. So we have fake Allah and we have a real Allah. The fake Allah is the shape. So here Muhammad, the Muslim asked him, are we going to see Allah? Muhammad, he said, yes. Dr. Rahi, he said, yes, we will see him, but we will see the fake Allah. So Muhammad is lying because they are asking him, are we going to see Allah? Not the fake Allah. Do you see in the hadith where they ask him, are we going to see the fake uh, fake Allah? No. They say to him, are we going to see our Lord? He said, yes. So if Muhammad say yes, and you say yes, but you are saying this is a fake shape, that means Muhammad is a false prophet, lying to the Muslims, saying to them, you will see Allah, but in fact, they don't see Allah. The hadith not say yes. No, it not says yes. yes. No, it says yes. No, it says yes. What are you talking about? Look. He says, and this is how you will see Allah. This is how you will see. So you will see him. What do you mean, Nassim? They don't say yes. They are asking, are we going to see Allah? He said, are you going to squeeze and crowd each other to see the sun in a, in a, in a, uh, in a day where the, 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 the sky is clear? They said, no, it's very easy to see the sun. Uh, the same for the moon. And then he said to them, so... This is so you will see him. You will see him. Him who? Dr. Rohi. This is the hadith said, Hal to the runa fi shams, call who hal nara rabbana yom al qiyama. We'll see our Lord. Hal call hal to the runa fi shams, he lays a duna has a hab. Call your soul Allah. Thumma call hal to the runa fil kamari layla tel bedder. Call la, call in nakum tarona who kazelik. Then we see to the we look to our Lord, our that uh, such as we look to the sun. Right. So, such you, but you said he said you will see him. You it is far him. from us, my friend. From far far so, or close, it doesn't matter. If I see the sun, it is the sun. It's a close. It doesn't matter. You will see him. But you said something extremely dangerous, that you must then believe that there is two Allah. There's a fake Allah and there's a real Allah, and we will see the fake Allah. Is what you say? Not speak. Now, when we okay. say look to the moon, when we look to the moon, hmm. is that a real moon or look? We see. The, is that a fake moon or real moon? It is real moon. Okay. So when we see and Allah, are we, we going to see real Allah? We, and when we look at Allah, are we going uh, to see real Allah or fake Allah? Listen to me. Listen to me. Now we look to the moon, but we uh, if we. Uh, Descend and يعني نهبط in the self of the moon. We see the other thing. It is so we see thing and it is another thing. That's so we. That's deep. Doctor Rohi, what are you talking about, man? What 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 we will see other things and go deep in? I'm asking you. They will see Allah. You say this is not the same Allah. This is a shape of Allah. So now we have shape of Allah. We have Allah, and Allah. He will show them his shape and the Muslim, they will think this is Allah. So Allah is lying to the Muslims. You are saying to me that Allah, he play hide and seek. He have the real Allah and the fake Allah. The Muslim, they will see the fake Allah. And now you are saying to me, we see the moon. And then, but if we go in the moon, you will see something different. We are not going to land on Allah, my friend. This is not the question. They ask him, are you going to see Allah? He said, yes, this is how you will see him. And you said to me, and everybody heard you. That the one you will see is a fake shape of Allah. It's not the real Allah. Where do you get this from, Doctor Rahi? 
that Allah He have many shapes. Uh, because, because what uh, in the shape uh, God said in the hadith, فيأتيهم الله في صورته التي يعرفون. Thank you. فيأتيهم الله في صورته التي يعرفون. So the scholars. Uh, okay. So what is the shape? What is that shape? What is that shape? No, meaning suratuhu here is a condition or what his condition? Uh, quality because what equality? Allah lower his equality. What if before? You, okay, listen, listen. You know, Dr. Shahi, when you say something, you have to make it clear for us. Allah will come, guys, in other quality. What is that? Don't give me words which is empty. Allah will come in other quality. What he will come as a devil? He will not be in the quality of God no, no more. He will be a bad quality. He smell bad, maybe. He look look bad, maybe. What do you mean other quality? Allah is coming to them in other quality. This is what you say. So now you are saying to me, not Allah, not only you have two Allah, three Allah, fake Allah, real Allah, etc. Allah. We have many shape of Allah, and each one of them have different quality. It is uh, that uh, quality, uh, that shape fit to human human being. Thank you very much. So Allah, uh, guys, did you hear this? Did you hear what the, what Doctor Rohi he said, Sheikh Rohi from Al Azhar University? Allah will come as a man. Wonderful. Not not. Not you you man. are the one who I said to me fit for a, a human being. You are saying to me fit for a human being. What fit for a human being mean? Is it fit for a human being? Is a man? Uh, so what we is? see the sun, the moon, the stars. Not uh, the sun now is fit for a human a lot being. Things. The not sun is fit for a human being now. How fit? You said to me in different quality. Is that a lower quality, higher quality? Is that shape? Is Allah? Okay. Let us let us focus together. Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know. What is the shape you Muslims you know? Uh, what uh, this is meaning? What is this meaning? Hmm. The shape, uh, me, uh, yani this is a shape. I think it is uh, wrong, the trans uh, wrong. Translation here is wrong. Suratihi, not mean his shape. But my friend, mean his my condition. Friend, you are the one who doesn't speak and, good and Arabic. Listen, listen, you are the one listen who doesn't speak good Arabic. Let me show you. Isn't it Allah who said that Allah sawara Adam ala suratihi? That's mean the shape. خلق الله آدم على صورته. صورته not not return to God, but doesn't matter. The word surah, the word surah in the Quran, the word surah in the Quran, the word surah in the Hadith. It's about either a, a paint or a shape. In this case, it's a shape because he's coming as a physical being. So, خلق الله آدم. Allah Adam created Adam. Ala suratihi. This is the word we are using, surah. So the translation is perfectly fit. Allah created Adam. Either you say in his image or you say in his shape. Which one you choose? Choose one. Okay, let me let me explain, explain uh, to you. Uh, uh, we get this in Arabic, so we hear it sometimes when we listen to the news. Uh, uh, the announcer said, "Masalan, ma suratul awdai ladaik." What's uh, what are the condition ma you have now? Uh, now, Doctor Rahi, ma suratul awdai ladaik. I never heard. Of news? This, uh, I never Arabic heard. Idiom. I never heard of somebody speak Arabic saying ma suratul awdai. <laughs> are you sure this is Arabic? No. no. Surah al awda Yes, this is in the news. This what is, news is that? the news. What we, is that, my friend? Surah al announcer, announcer. My friend, what's Surah al awda My awda'na fi al-surah. Mumkin. I'm I'm taqul Surah al awda Hada hada. What hey, ya rajul? Ya rohi. Shinu hada. Nala. Ya rajal. Bahdatna bin al-arba. Hada. Nah, 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 n
no. الاخبار نسمع لو انت تستمع الى الاخبار الى في الصورة الى في الصورة put us in the put us in the situation the image yes وايضا يقولون no. ما صورة الاوضاع لديك no, ما صورة الاوضاع لديك however, 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 what however. are the conditions you have listen, now okay. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Okay, so let us say Allah will come to them على صورة صورة. This in this case, if it does not mean shape, it means what image, right? No, صورة نت. So what what it, what it does mean? So what 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 does it mean when it says Allah He come in a صورة? Mean His condition, His condition okay, or His Allah will, quality because guys, Allah will the come in His new. condition. So that means Allah He changed His conditions. Allah is a changeable. Allah, He have, He can lower His equality. Allah, He can get rid of some His equality, and now He have different conditions. Are you saying that? No. His shape, Doctor Rohi, because you are scared to say. His adjective. What his adjective? What condition adjective? Condition or okay. his equality? Okay, you just said his yeah, equality. A second ago, I asked you, Allah, He changed His equality. You said He will come in the water equality. When I ask you, so Allah quality will change, you said no. But you are the one who said to me, Allah will change his quality. You cannot even stay with your own sentence for two minutes. So Allah will change his quality. I said to you, so Allah, he will change, he change, he's, he's changeable. Because when you say he changed his quality, that's mean the quality of Allah. That's mean the nature of Allah. That's mean Allah himself, he changed. Correct? Let me let me say to you what mm. the scholars said in this by Arabic. Al Murad Minasura as Sifa Al Mana Yavhar Lahum Min Batchilahi wa Shiddati Batsihi Malam Yalafu Walam Yatadu Min Muhammad Lahi Taala Mao Summa Tatihim Bada Velika and Wa Rahma Wal Karama Ala Wagi Levi Atadu Hu Alifu. No, هذا no. الكلام هذا اللي قال. No, my friend. Ibn Taymiyyah ماذا قال? Ibn Taymiyyah is an is an idiot. Let me prove it to you. Because when he come to them, they will say to him, "You are not Allah." Correct? Yes. Okay. So what what they reject of him? They reject of him his mercy. The Muslim they will reject Allah because he's merciful. They will say to him, "You are not Allah." What's Ibn Taymiyyah said? Don't, 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 answer, answer. You see, you cannot even answer anything. Are you saying to me, the Muslim, they will reject Allah because he come to them with his mercy. They will say to him, you are not Allah. The Allah we worship is a scary God. Is that what you just said? Yes, this is the scholars. Said okay, the scholars are stupid because if What's this is the case, Taymiyyah? that means you Muslims, you are false people too. Aren't you the Muslim? You say in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. So Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, uh, you, you call him the mercy, the merciful. So how, if he come to you as a merciful person, you will reject him? Because in the day of the resurrection, there was afflict. My friend, and what I, afflict? As listen, I, listen, as listen, as listen. I said to you, in no, the, no, 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 listen, listen, answer. listen. And then they will say to him, so how we will recognize him? He says the shin. So what we are talking about, he spoke in the beginning about seeing Allah, not his mercy. Seeing Allah, you ignore no, the fact. You see, from the beginning, I told you, they will see Allah or they will say something he will do. In the beginning, you say it's something he will do. Then we got that busted because the hadith says we will see our Lord. And he gave example of a physical creature or creation like the moon and the sun. And then he says he will come to them in an image. The image here is something they will see. You cannot see mercy. You feel mercy. Mercy is not a person. Mercy is not a creature will walk around. Mercy is not something to be seen. It's something you can feel mercy of somebody. Somebody helps somebody. That is a merciful act. But here it says Allah himself. He will come to them in a shape other than the one they know. And then they will refuse him. They will say, we seek refuge from you. You see, and here you will see how the hadith refute you and uh, Ibn Taymiyyah. The Muslim, they will say to him, we seek refuge with Allah from you. That's mean he cannot be merciful. He must be evil. 
because they said to him we seek refuge with Allah from you is it the Quran says that when shaitan he whisper into you seek refuge by Allah right uh, that so, uh, said that this we seek refuge of you uh, hypocrites he no, the Muslims. No, 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 no. This is all, all the, the no, Muslim. Look. My friend, my friend, my friend. All the, all the people. They will say we will not follow you. All the Muslims, not only the hypocrites, not all the Muslims, and all the Muslims are hypocrite anyway. I never saw a Muslim is not a hypocrite. But look here. It says, and then only this nation, i.e., Muslims, will remain, including their hypocrites. Do you see it? Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one which they know and will say I am your Lord they will say all my nation not the hypocrite alone not the Muslims part of all my nation they will say we seek refuge from Allah and nobody will talk to him from the Muslims nobody not only the hypocrite you see and nobody read carefully we they will say we seek what? refuge with Allah from you this is our place. We will not follow you. Tell our Lord come to us. And then when our Lord come to us, we will recognize him. See, those are not hypocrites. Ibn Hagar. Okay. Hmm. Ibn Hagar Yaqul. Ana aqra' laka min sharh al-hadith. Hmm. Wa amma qawluhum, na'udhu billahi mink. Qala al-khattabi, yuhtamal an takuna hathihi al-istiadha min al-munafiqina khassa. My friend, look what you said, look how funny you Muslims are. You said it's possible, the scholar, he says, it is possible that this is only about the hypocrite. It's possible. So he is not giving you confirmation. He is guessing. You Muslims, you have a religion of guessing. You cannot give an answer of anything. The hadith is so clear that the, all the Muslims, because look, it says here, nobody will talk to him except the prophets all the muslims who refuse to talk to him does it say that or no let let me come uh, let, no, me, let me ask you is it true that only the prophets will speak to him yes or no only the prophets will speak to him read yes, carefully the prophet will speak to him yeah so so that's mean all the muslims reject him not only the hypocrite you see read carefully just to show you how stupid your scholars when they say what they say to you because when it says only the prophet will talk to him that's mean everybody reject him you are not our lord I, and none, I don't listen I don't and, and listen listen, I don't listen. Complete the no you did not complete no and none and none will speak to him none then but the prophets so all the Muslims will say to Allah you are not Allah why you are saying to me that this is only for the hypocrites it says none. Listen, All listen, the prophets will speak listen to me. Hmm. Listen to me. What's Ibn Hajar said in his ex explanation? Wa qawluhum, na'udhu billahi min qala al-khattabi, yuhtamal an takun hadhi al-istiadha min al-munafiqina khasa, wa ankar al-qadi iyadu hadha, wa qal, la yasih an takun qawl al-munafiqin, wa la yastaqim al-kalam bihi, وهذا الذي قاله القاضي عياض هو الصواب ولفظ الحديث مصرح به أو ظاهر فيه وإنما استعاذوا منه لما قدمناه من كونهم رأوا سمات المخلوق انظر oh, hold on. They oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because... just destroyed Islam you said they refuse Allah because they say to him, so from him what is can be seen of a creature not God you said that you just said that Yes, because they, yeah, uh, come call, raw semat al makhluk, yeah, a seam of creature. Okay, so Allah, He came to and them in a in a description of a creature. This is why they refuse Him. Because as I told you, that's uh, come. <laughs> okay, you no, know, Rahi. You see, you have no answer, and you are going like going like you know. You know, when I talk to you, I feel like you are like a flag going with the wind, wherever the wind takes you, and you try to 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 just to fly. Let me make it simple for you. As long Allah, and you are the one who says to me, Ibn Taymiyyah, 
you, you try to answer about Allah, you mentioned to me about Ibn Taymiyyah. Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that Allah has a physical being? No. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, okay. I am sure. I will make you read from Ibn Taymiyyah and let us see how sure you are. You did read everything Ibn Taymiyyah said? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let us see. I will give you something and you can read for us. Let us see. I'm just trying to find uh, all right. Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that Allah is set on the throne? Are you there, Dr. Rohi? Yes, yes. What do you see, please? What okay. you said? Let us see what Ibn Taymiyyah he says. And I will read together. Uh, There's many books, but I'm trying just to find you. Okay. What is... Uh, <coughs> All right. Who is the one who says that Allah, he come down? Okay, let me read to you what Ibn Taymiyyah said in this hadith. No, I will, give you, I will give you this website. Let us see. The same hadith I just showed you in the beginning. Is that reported by Ibn Taymiyyah too? About Allah, he come in the third part of the night? The Prophet said this, but it is not uh, really come. And I said to you, not physical come. Okay, but Ibn, it did Ibn Taymiyyah, he says that this is not metaphorical? Did Ibn this is say? The, a lot, a lot of views, a lot saying of the scholars. There, uh, no, no, this is not, this, uh, Dr. Rahi, I want, I'm just making the question very simple. Did Ibn Taymiyyah, he says, Allah will come down from the sky and he was in the, on the steps of, of the stage and then he walked down the stage and downstairs and he says the same as I am coming down? Did he say that? Maybe he said that. Okay, but maybe, you said to me. Maybe he said. But you said to me that uh, that is metaphorical. Yourself. 
You remember when you called me in the beginning, you said to me, this is metaphorical, and Ibn Taymiyyah, he said, this is not. He was speaking in the, in the stage, and he said, Allah will come down in the third part of the night, and he walked with, down his, with his feet downstairs, and he says, and this is how Allah will go down. But you are the one who said to me that you approve Ibn Taymiyyah, and you are the one who says to me, let me show you what the scholar says about this, and this is metaphorical. Okay, so read what Ibn Taymiyyah said okay, exactly here we go. to this know what Ibn Taymiyyah says exactly. exactly. Uh, 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 it says here, uh, let us see what it says. Our Lord will come down in the third part of the night until the last third part, and he says, uh, who is uh, into the, to the lowest heaven, and he says, who is going to uh, uh, supplicate to me, asking me for forgiveness, so I will forgive him. And Ibn Taymiyyah, he read that hadith, and then after that, he walked downstairs, and he says, the same as I go down. Yes or no? I, uh, this is what I'm not uh, saying of Ibn Taymiyyah. This is when the scholars uh, said that Ibn Taymiyyah. But I want so to one read of, what one Ibn of the scholars says exactly says, in, okay. from his, his books. Look, one of the scholars says Ibn Taymiyyah says that. Maybe fabrication of Ibn Taymiyyah. But I, now I search in Ibn Taymiyyah. Uh, please read this in Arabic. To search in uh, Ibn Taymiyyah box. Hmm. What's it in Arabic? Uh, Let us see. Hold on. Exactly. There is many website. I'm just trying to find something uh, authentic. Uh, not just uh, an article. Let us see. All right. Here we go. This is Al Hafiz Ibn Hajar al Asqalani, and you, mentioned, and you are the one who mentioned Ibn Hajar, so you cannot say you don't like him, right? He says in the book of the Durr al Kamina that the people they mentioned that Ibn Taymiyyah he said, and he was on the stage teaching that Allah will come down every night from the sky. As my coming down, and he went down from the stage down down the stairs, and he down from the stage two steps. And this is in the book of Al Hafiz Ibn Hajar, in the book of Durr Al Kamina, Fi Aayani Al Maa Al Thamina, volume number one, page one eighty. Okay. I read now from uh, books, uh, book of Ibn Taymiyyah, Al-Fatawi. Al-Fatawi, fi al-guz al-khamis, rub'umiyya u khamsata ashar. Al-guz al-khamis, fi al-Fatawi, Ibn Taymiyyah. Mada yaqul? Yaqul, nu'min bi nuzul Allahi fi al-thuluf al-akhir min al-layli ila al-samai al-dunya, ma'uluwihi ala khalqi, wa anna al-samawat la tuzilluhu wa la tuqilluhu, muhiitun bi khalqihi wa la yuhiitu bihi shay'un, ونسكت كما سكت الصحابة فلا نقول هل خلا من العرش أم لا وصوب شيخ الإسلام أنه لا يخلو قال الصواب المأثور عن سلف الأمة وأمتها أنه لا يزال فوق العرش ولا يخلو العرش منه مع دنوه ونزوله إلى السماء ولا يكون العرش فوق Let us translate So you are saying to me Allah he come down in the top of his throne as if it's a car 
But you just admitted that Ibn Taymiyyah said that Allah will come down. You just said, we believe that Allah will come down from his heaven. Yes or no? Did Ibn Taymiyyah say that? No. no. You don't uh, understand what I said. No, I understand. You just said that. You just said, so, Did you say that? But it's so complete. Okay, so, what, so, uh, so Allah will come down, but, will say, he, but still he will no, be high, no, for no, sure he will be let, high. Let I mean, it says he will be in the lowest heaven, still he is higher, this is what, what, what he said. So Allah will come down, but still he is higher than his creature. So what? I don't, I don't care, but Allah will come down. But in the beginning mm -hmm. you said to me okay. that this is metaphorical, but in the time here now, he got you busted. He just said, we believe that Allah will come down literally, not metaphorically. No, no. So what? What he say also? وليس نزوله كنزول أجسام بني آدم من السطح إلى الأرض بحيث يبقى السوق فوقهم بل الله منزل منزه عن ذلك. My friend, because your scholar is not smart. I don't want to use the word stupid. He just said that Muhammad is a liar. Let me show you why. Because he say if he say that Allah have no roof and the top of him. Well, your prophet he says Allah above him there is air underneath of him is here. Let me show there is air. Let me show you. Show you. فوقه هواء وتحته هواء. Your scholars they do not know what is written in their books. Isn't it? This is your God saying that. Do you see? Where is فوقه هواء? In the top of Allah there is air. Underneath of Allah there is there is air. Who said? This is your prophet. Your prophet saying that. Where? Where where he said that? Okay, here we go. This is Ibn uh, uh, Ibn Majah, Hadith number one eighty two. He said, "He was above the cloud below, which was air, and above which was air and water." And when he agree, your scholar that Allah he come down. I mean, isn't it obvious when you say he come down that he come down and where he will come down? He will come inside his creation. And isn't it your prophet? He says he will come down to the lowest heaven. He hang up. Guys, the hadith says Allah will come down to the lowest heaven. That's the location. So how Allah will come to the lowest heaven without going through the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven? <laughs> <laughs> it says here he will come look 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 how they try to fabricate in the beginning he said this is metaphorical right after he called me and then he trapped himself he called for me as scholar we spoke about what this scholar he said and then he admitted that the scholar says that Allah he come down but he don't come like a human I don't care if he come like a human or not <laughs> he come down and he come down where he come down to a location it's not the location walking to Allah it is Allah going down it says it clearly he would descend down he would descend you know what descend mean he's failing down he come every night down so here we have what is involved time and location so that's mean Allah is moving physically. Secondly, your God, which you Muslim, you have no idea who's he, and this is the whole topic, and nobody can answer us. He moved inside his creation. When we ask Dr. Rohi about the tree, he says, Allah created voice. This is not Allah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, the Muslims are really funny, cute, very cute, very cute uh, religion. If, if those are the shakes, what do you expect from the ones who do not know what they are talking about? Hmm? It says come down. And the Muslim, by the way, I mean, this guy, the scholar, he come with this fabrication from where? Allah. He come down, but not like other. Who? What are you talking about? First of all, your prophet he says he come down. That's it. He come down. 
even your prophet himself he did not say he come down without he come down but there's no way his chair is in the top of him like what the heck <laughs> you are worried now about his chair <laughs> okay brother he will take the chair with him are you happy Allah will put his chair in the couch on the couch he will put it in the truck he will go down are you happy now look at this stupid philosophy because they have no idea what they are talking about and it's they start their best to make like a, a, a jelly like, like a jellyfish you know a jellyfish there's a lot of uh, plasma around so they try to cover Allah by the plasma to make him his holy his big but even their prophet he did not say what they are saying where you get this is from and who care if he come down with a chair or without the chair this is the problem and then he says to me nothing is above Allah and the, the prophet the, the prophet of Islam says no other is there's things above Allah Allah is a swimming in the top of him there is air underneath of him there is an air Always when I speak to Muslims, I feel like I'm talking to a kid, somebody in the first grade, who is trying his best to say to me that the, the, the candy I have is not like any candy. This is what the Muslims have. They have a candy, claiming that it's different from any candy. But they do not understand what this candy is about, and they, they never saw the candy. Dr. Rohi himself, we ask, I ask him, what the word Allah mean? Who is the first one say that? He says it's an Arab guy, we do not know who. We believe it. They don't even know what the word Allah mean. Who is going to believe in such a madness religion? Not only boys and sex and private part and boom boom and fictions, flying carpet. In the top of that, they do not even know who is their God. And the tree said to Moses, I am your God Allah. This guy, he answers, says, Oh, this is a fake voice of Allah. This is not the real voice of Allah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> hey Randy, how are you? Good to have you, my friend. See, this is the good thing about being here in the internet. The Lord always bless us to have people from around the world. And we have here Randy from the Philippines saying hello. Say hello, everybody, to Randy. Filipino people are very wonderful people. I really love them. Very beautiful people. Uh, <clears throat> and here we have a lot of people from Indonesia too. So the Lord, he blessed us with a lot of Christians from Asia. Wonderful people. Uh, any Abdul? Uh, Dr. Rohi is calling back. <laughs> I think he requested some help maybe. <laughs> Yes, Dr. Rohi. Hey, my friend, connection was... Uh, my friend, this is what happened uh, when you use the internet of the neighbor, Dr. Rohi. Come on. <laughs> no, no, it is my... But uh, there is a problem. Right, right. The problem that Allah is weak, my friend. So listen to, the, to me. Allah, he come down with his throne. He don't come no, no. like a human. As hadith, my, friend. Uh, my friend, as this hadith, can Allah fi ama it is weak hadith. All scholars, my friend, no, here we go. It says, it says, it says, Hassan was a hahul alabani, was a hahul alabani. Hassan, do you see it? Now, this in Ibn Maga, Daif, fi Sunan al Tirmizi, does it say, does it say, Hassan? It's in the front of me, it says, it's in the front of me, it's in the front of me, it says, Hassan, it's in the front of me in the screen, it says, Hassan. People are my witness. 
No, no, no. What do you mean? No, no, no. Where, it's in the screen. Is this, shit? this is your Muslim website. It says Hassan. <laughs> I don't. I don't uh, know. And uh, I'm not on uh, YouTube. My friend, I will give you the link. All the scholars. I will give you the link. All no, the scholars. Is, this is not true. This is not true. But you must think anything, anything, you, you, it's embarrassing. You say it is weak. <laughs> no, no, it is hadith weak. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me ask hadith, you. Is Allah, is Allah. No, it's not weak. I just showed the proof. Uh, let me ask you. Is Allah is above the throne or he's under the throne? He above the, uh, the throne. Okay, as the long throne. he is above, that's mean he's above. The second you say is above, that's mean Allah is located in the top of a chair. Do you agree? What meaning of located? And I don't know. You are the one who says to me he's above. I ask you, is he above the chair or under the chair? You said above. Now you do not know what located mean. You just locate Allah. You, you located Allah. You said Allah is at in the top of the chair. Located the do you physical? Well, is, is the chair physical or it's a metaphorical? We you don't know exactly. What do you mean you do not know? What do you mean you do not know, uh, Dr. Rohi? Why Muslims they don't know anything? This is what I keep saying to them. The second you ask them embarrassing question, they say they don't know. If you are speaking to a guy who's an American, I'm sure you know. But talking to me, the answer is no. Do you know the Quran says that even there's a th eight goats, mountain goats, will carry the throne of Allah? Is that correct? What I don't understand you. How many goats they will carry the throne of Allah? You are saying, I ask you, is the throne of Allah is physical? You said, I do not know. How you say, I do not know, when the Quran says that there's eight will carry, eight mountain goats will carry the, the, the throne of Allah. Quran said that? Yeah. Goat can uh, carry the uh, throne of God? Yes. Where? Where is this? Chapter 69, verse number Quran 17. Said angel, eight angels. No. Carry. No. No. Say it to me, please. Hmm. Read it. Chapter 69, verse number 17. The angels are around the throne and the one is carrying the throne is eight mountain goats. Are you there? Yes, yes. I. وَيَحْمِلُ عَرْشَ رَبِّكَ فَوْقَهُمْ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ ثَمَانِيَةٌ. Okay, who are those eight who carry the throne of Allah? First of all, you said to me that the throne of Allah is metaphorical. How he is metaphorical? But there is eight carrying the throne. Eight angels. Eight not angels. Goat. What if who I said prove, goat? Okay, what what I prove to you that they are goats. For proof to me from where from hadith or Quran leave that to me I mean Christian Prince he can prove it from anywhere who care no no if you want to prove me give me hadith true hadith or the Quran said that okay let us see because Quran said and angel he carried the throne of God let us see All right. This is the hadith says. They are speaking about where Allah, Allah is above, etc. Allah is above, Allah is above, blah, 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 blah. And then they said, and then above the seven heaven, there is a sea. The distance between 
who is surface and the bottom is like the the, the uh, between one heaven and the next above that there is eight mounting goats the distance between those hoofs or whose hoofs and hunches is like the distance between the heaven and the next then Allah the blessed the exalted is above that can you send me the hadith please yeah, sure can you send me the link yeah. <clears throat> no problem <clears throat> <clears throat> you send it there we go where is it <clears throat> no hold uh, I don't know if you can open the link it's very long is it uh, is it long to open click on it yes yes Yes, uh, I uh, try to open it, please. No, it is error. It is error. It's error. Okay. Can you read the hadith in Arabic? Okay, no problem. Read in the hadith no in problem. Arabic. Let's say it. The hadith is long, so I will read at the end. ثم فوق ذلك ثمانية أوعال بين أضلافهم وركبهم مثل ما بين السماء إلى السماء ثم على ظهورهم العرش ثم الله تبارك وتعالى فوق ذلك It is uh, not in hadith, it is in uh, some saying in tafsir. Uh, this hadith is Eight Look, angels. I will go with you. They are the eight hadith. angels. The angels are carrying the throne of Allah, which is metaphorical or it is physical. Let me complete the hadith, please. Right. يقول رواه أبو داود والترمذي وابن ماجا وقال حديث حسن غريب. حسن. حديث حن غريب. الحديث الغريب لا يؤخذ. هذا حديث ليس صحيح. So why you are saying Hassan? حديث غريب. So why you call it Hassan? Hassan mean what? Hassan mean good. <laughs> so you call it good? لا لا حسن غريب. غريب. ليس حسن. حسن. It's حسن good. غريب. It's good. حسن غريب. Okay, وليس حسن. You just said. You see, a second ago, I showed you a hadith which says Hassan. You rejected. You said it's daif. When I said to you the hadith about Allah have air above him and air underneath of him, you said this is daif. I showed everybody that this is Hassan. And now you are in this hadith I gave you. He said to me, Hassan, and you add to it, Gharib. Forget about this. All. No, no, uh, no problem. No problem. Let us, let us finish this game. So, the, it, the, the throne of Allah, not Hassan. listen, hadith, the throne of dying. Allah, I, the throne I, I of said, Allah. No, okay. no, no, okay, hold on, hold on, please. The throne uh, of Allah, I see Dr. Rahi, the throne of Allah is created by eight angels, according to you, correct. Is it true that those angels send, they have? I send you have, the link. I is it true the that link those of this hadith, my hadith friend, daif. No problem. Hadith daif. Is it true that those please, angels? Please open. Please I, open you are the, the one link. who just showed me Hassan Gharib, and now you are saying daif. You Muslims are confused. Is it Hassan Gharib or daif? Secondly, no. the second you say is daif, that means it's accepted because daif hadith is not rejected. Al, al Albani said this daif. Okay. This daif. The Albani says daif. Do you accept what the Albani said? Yes, in this hadith I said. No, no, no. I'm asking Al-Bani. you, do you accept the Albani to be a reference for you? You say yes or no? No, not all. <laughs> <laughs> so, Albani is something to witness for, but Al- when we want, Albani is an idiot when we want. Either you say yes, he is good all the time, or then they don't go take the Albani. So, why you are taking the Albani now? Because it just, uh, he said, Daif. <laughs> and isn't it Ibn Majah is one of the Sahih Hadith books? 
Isn't it the Sahih? His six books. So how Ibn Majah suddenly became daif? The Sahih books is six books. Is it is, is, is who sure. is who is higher? Who is higher? Ibn Majah or Al Alabani who died just a few years ago? Not all in the Ibn Majah is uh, true. My friend. Not all hadith. So why you call his book Sahih? This is Sahih Ibn Majah, Sahih al Turmudi, Sahih al Bukhari. All of them they are Sahih. Yet what is inside is not Sahih. Now forget about this. Not said Sahih. We are wasting our we time. Not said Sahih. It is Sahih. We not said Sahih. It is Sahih. No, no. This we is said Sunan. Okay. Sunan. Uh, let, uh, no, 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 you know, you said that no, and I will show everybody that is not true. Muslims Sunni believe in six authentic books of hadith. It's called Sahih. Al Sihah I will show it in Arabic, and I will show it in English. <laughs> Who said this? Saying? You are really funny. Who said this? Saying? <laughs> Who said this? Saying, my friend. Okay. الصحاح السنة الصحاح الصحاح الستة هذا هذا سي Do you know what ابن ابن تا ابن ماجا called his book he called سنن ابن ماجا I know what he called him but you must then consider as authentic the All right. I just search in Google, and look what came in my face right away. Okay. Okay. Kutub, okay. Kutub al Sitta, the six books of Hadith, are they authentic? Let us see if they are. What the Muslims yes. say about Al Kutub al Sitta, Al Kutub al Sitta, but not the Kutub al Sahihah. Six, they are, Kutub al Sunnah no, they are, Kutub no, they are authentic. Here we go. They are the six authentic. The six authentic books of Hadith. Number one. No, who who uh, called as Sahah al Sitta? Who who? All of you Muslim Sunni, you call it as Sahah al Sitta. I learned no, in no. university. Who named? You know, you know who that Rohi, my teacher is my teacher. Is they are their beard was bigger than the beard of your of, of your higher scholar in in the other university, and they never called them except as Sahah al Sitta. Your teacher is wrong. Your teacher is wrong, my friend. My friend, they are big Not shakes, Sahih and they Sitta. are they knew what they are talking about, and all Muslim Sunni here, you are just playing a game. You are not being honest. Al-Sihah al-Sitta, everybody knows them. Al-Bukhari, Muslim, Al-Nasai, Abu Dawood, Al-Turmudi, and Ibn Majah. And now you do not know? And this is your Muslim website. Saying, not, yes, there are six authentic books of Hadith. In... My friend, let us go, let us go, let us go, let us go. Now, let's go here. You said that eight angels will carry Allah throne. Why they are carrying Allah throne if it's not real? Because uh, God used the angel to do anything in the world. But you said it's not so, real. Is, is the throne of Allah is real or it's metaphorical? Is it a chair? Not. We don't know how they carry him. We when we said not now, the question. Not the, the question. This is, is, this is not the question. The chair. Is it a real chair or not? Not really chair. Not, okay, we the don't guys, know it's not really chair. So how it is not really chair? <laughs> how it is not really chair? But yet they will carry the chair. And how it have borders? It says in the at the edges of the chair. So it is not a chair, but eight angels will carry the chairs according to you. They will carry what? They are acting. You. You must learn the metaphor in Arabic. My friend, friend this is not when metaphorical. Said, because I ask you, where is Allah? You said he is above the throne. 
Did you say no. it's metaphorical? Because no, if it's metaphorical, there's no need to say above. You are the one who said it's above. Did you say above or no? No, الملك ثبت كرسيه this is not that question i asked you مقصود. i asked no, no, no. you is I allah above? i want to uh... is allah, this is not the question is allah is above the throne or he is not above the throne above the, thro the okay. throne but so the second you say above the throne that means the throne must be a physical throne because there is no no way to say above the throne if there is no throne because metaphorical throne this means this mean there is no throne when you say metaphorical, metaphorical that means it's not exist. It's not real. It's metaphorical. There's some uh, symbolic for his authority, symbolic for his power, etc. But you are the one saying he is above the throne. So as long he is above the throne, that means the throne must be real. And as long he is carried by eight angels, that means those angels, they are carrying a real throne. And now, is those angels are animals or they are real angels? Is it true that those angels they have four faces each one of them and they have faces of animals this no, is no, I, I said to you it is it is a uh, hadith life it is life I friend, you are you. the one who mentioned to me ibn abbas before so you accept ibn abbas and this is ibn abbas he says the angels will be in the side of the throne it's an uh, uh, extreme uh, sides different directions and part and eight he says eight different angels each one of them has four different faces a face of a, a human a face of an eagle a face of a lion a face of a bull is that correct uh, my friend you must know how to read the interpretations because the interpretations contains wheat and the chaff so you must clear <laughs> to sift the wheat from what the chaff what interpretation the chaff, you accept okay? let us get it short what interpretation you accept and i will read it what is scholar give me a real scholar not don't give me those puppies who you know they go in the internet today and they claim to be scholars who is a scholar you accept his interpretation for this chapter uh, I accept not I, I I am not accept all the interpretation, but I am don't just accept all the interpretation or choose you abnormal opinions what which opinion? harm my the friend, prophet. I also choose friend. the opinions that praise the prophet, peace be upon. Okay, support what okay. you say is that this is metaphorical from your prophet statement. Go ahead. Because God not uh, no, no 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 you just say not it. you just say it you just said I go by the prophet opinion about this topic show me the prophet opinion about this topic the prophet not said because the God but you, said but a second uh, ago you said to me he say lay second mystery he say friend I nothing like me too so what and nothing like you and nothing like my phone and nothing like the and, and everything is in, in this earth is is different so what the, what does that mean so hit this the, the cat every cat so nothing like it does that mean the cat is god what does have to do with the question i'm asking you that allah throne allah and you said to me allah is above the throne the second you say above okay let me ask you do you muslim agree that allah is above the heaven Yes. Okay. Is the heaven is up or down? He may up or he down. The you, 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 it's okay. But you just said to me, Allah is above the heaven. How the heaven can be above it if if there is many up? <laughs> How Allah can be above yeah. something? <laughs> but this thing is not a flat. So when you Muslim, you say is Allah is above. Above where? God, what uh, God in the Quran? Okay. No, the God of the Quran, the God of the Quran said that there is seven heavens, correct? There is seven heavens, yes or no? Yes, yeah, okay. there, there are seven heavens. Thank you very much. So as long as there are seven heavens, that means Allah is above the seven heavens, correct or not? 
Yes, he above the world. Is the, above the, is, is the world. seven heaven? If the, is the seven heaven occupy space and shape? Yes. Okay, that's mean Allah is above a space and shape. That's mean Allah located in a location. Is Allah, is Allah live in the seven heaven, close to the house of Al Ma'mur? Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. What is the Al Bayt Al Ma'mur? Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. He is the. Uh... He is the place in mm. the sky mm. said Al Bayt Al Ma'mur. Mm. What is that? But it is not uh, a house or Bayt Al Ma'mur like our house. Mm. It's what? You must uh, know. It's what? It says Bayt. Bayt means house. Like what? It's what? It says, as I know, that this is a house where 70,000 angels they go inside it every day, correct? البيت المعمور المقصود هو البيت الحرام البيت المعمور والبيت لذلك قال في القرآن والبيت المعمور بيت الحرام الله الله هذا كعبة ذي الله هذا كعبة not in the heaven what what tour what said God said well أو البيت المعمور هو يقسم بالبيت المعمور والبيت المعمور القصد به ذا كعبة ذا heaven in the not not in the uh, not in the heaven okay let's see if this is true let us see if this is true or not here we go this is your prophet and this is Sahih Muslim is speaking about going up to the heaven and in there he found al baytul ma'mur I don't know where you got your degree from Dr. Rahi Al Azhar University is a very weak school. I, 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 I advise you to change your school. Al Baytul Ma'mur is not the Kaaba. As you see, this is in above the seven heaven, and this is where Allah He lived next to it. And there is seventy, or He lived inside it, and there is seventy thousand angels go inside it every day. But you said a second ago, you said to me, this is the Kaaba. <clears throat> now said <so> now <laughs> well bait al ma'mur what said ibn kathir what ibn kathir said this is your <laughs> prophet hold on <laughs> ibn, ibn, ibn kathir <laughs> even ibn kathir he cannot say against this what's wrong with you muslims i'm showing you what your prophet saying you are saying to me that as me you are not even they are not even respecting your prophet it me Kathir, by the way agree with me but this is not the point you are saying to me my prophet must be wrong because the one who says that is your prophet he is saying he found that he found the the Nile and the Euphrates in the house of Allah <laughs> hey Dr. Rohi, you are from Egypt right yes okay is the Nile in the heaven of Allah or it is in your country my friend Nile river Yes. So how Muhammad is saying he found river and Euphrates, the river in Egypt, and in Sudan, in Ethiopia, uh, you know, in, in uh, many countries, and Euphrates is goes to Turkey, uh, Syria, Iraq. How Muhammad he claimed that he saw the Nile River, Euphrates, and Al Bayt Al Ma'mur in the seven heaven. But yet Al Bayt Al Ma'mur is Mecca according to you. And Nile River is next door to you. How this happen? Let me uh, read from the tafsir of uh, this uh, first. Okay. Qurtub qal wal bayt al ma'mur kulhu ta'ala wal bayt al ma'mur qala aliyun wa ibn Abbas wa ghayruhuma huwa baytun fi al-sana hiyal al-ka'ba yadkhulhu kulla yawmin sab'una alfa malak. See? It's not the Kaaba. It is not the Kaaba. It's a house in the sky. But you are a sheikh who have a PhD. You say to me, no, this is not in the sky. This is the Kaaba. You just say to me, Beit of Sama. Let, uh, let me uh, complete the tafsir. Mm, complete. Okay. <coughs> okay. 
وحكى القشيري عن ابن عباس انه في السماء الدنيا قال ذكر سكل سال ابن الكواء علي رضي الله عنه قال فما البيت المعمور قال بيت فوق السماوات تحت العرش وقال له الضراح وكذا في الصحاح الى اخره قال المهدوي اه اوكي My friend, just it's okay. I will forgive you. So the bait al ma'am. Qala al-Hassan al- No, 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 no. My friend, my friend. Qala al-Hassan al-Bait al-Ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. Al-Bait al-Haram al-Ladhi huwa ma'amurun min al-Nas. This is what the saying by al-Hassan. This is stupid. Your prophet. Al-Bait al-Ma'amur huwa al-Ka'am. Your prophet, he said that. Al-Bait al-Haram al-Ladhi huwa ma'amurun min al-Nas. Hold on. Which one you accept? This is in. Which one you accept? Which one you accept? Which one you accept? Which one you accept? Hold on. You're a prophet saying he went to the seventh heaven and he found the Bethel Ma'amur there, or someone says to you the Bethel Ma'amur is down in earth. Which one you accept? The prophet or that guy? It is no problem if they. Uh, no, it's a problem. Works. No, it's a problem that when you must continue to listen to Muhammad, and Muhammad says he found the Bethel Ma'amur in the seventh heaven. For me, Obviously, you Muslims, you have no idea what I'm talking about. This is a messed up religion. Every one of you have different opinion. When the fact is in the front of you, it's clear. Muhammad, he went to the seventh heaven, and in paradise, this is during the time he's condemned to paradise, supposedly, he found rivers, which obviously Muhammad is lying here because there's no way he found the Nile River, and Euphrates there. In the top of that, the most important for us in our topic, there's a house for Allah there, and there are 7,000 angels. They enter the house of Allah every day. Is Allah is inside the house? That house in heaven? No, no, it is not. So why the angels are getting inside this house? Why the angels are getting inside this house? 70,000 angels every day in the heaven. What this house is about? Okay, we talked about this topic another time because okay. now I want to go. All right. It's the <laughs> little <laughs> okay. Thank you. We, okay, thank you. We talk another time. Yeah, you are. You are. Okay.